Hey friends. It's Sunday. It's like quarter to six. I need to do yoga. I'm exhausted. Been having trouble uploading. The Wi-Fi was like absolutely terrible when um this weekend. I'm trying to think. I did do yoga on Saturday and I have a few, I think I have a few videos from Saturday morning. I have no idea what the scale says. Um, because I didn't get on it because I, had, I didn't take it with me Saturday or Sunday and I've ate a ton. So I have a feeling it's going to be up a ton. Um, not as much activity as I would have liked. Oh, my yoga is starting. I got to do it. Um, this morning we started with cinnamon rolls on a stick. The concept was great. They looked good going on. <laughs> then they were burnt on the outside Oh, David is texting me. Why? As soon as I try to do a video, you guys, you guys must like think that about me or something. He just asked me if I'm going to do a 72. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm starting tonight. And then I think Daniel said, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I have a feeling it's going to be a huge number just because of carbs every meal all weekend I I did say no to dessert Friday night just because I was full of shit I was just full speaking of shit I had two great bowel movements over the weekend which is just absolutely wonderful right I think I even went Friday did I go Friday I think I went all days guys all days I think, yeah, I think I did. I have to look. Um, started my new calendar, took my measurements on Friday. And um, I don't know if you guys take these measurements, but they, they say like a true measure of health is your waist to, is it hip to waist ratio or waist to hip ratio? I think I have it written down somewhere here. Waist to hip ratio. And they said for women, the ratio 0.75 or under is excellent. 0.8 or under is good. And then 0.85 is like average. So I took all my measurements. It just means you're like at a lower risk of, you know, health risks if you're under 0.8. Um, but I've also read, I think it's like a... a something to do with the symmetry vision of your brain that it really for most people I know everyone's tastes are different but it's a it's like a measure of beauty um I kind of been lucky that I'm kind of proportion you know nicely proportioned usually you know up top and below my waist so like my boobs and my butt provide a good ratio um but I checked it in July, I think it was 0.81, which is considered good. Um, you know, no health risk or whatever. And then I think Friday it was 0.78, so I'm super close to excellent. I'm still considered overweight. I have a BMI of 26, and I have 28% body fat. So I still have work to do. I don't know, like, I've always, I feel like I've always been in the overweight category or obese. I don't really believe in BMI. I just look at it as another data point. I don't think it's accurate, but I do, you know, you can measure body fat. So if I have a lot of muscle and my BMI is still high, I'm all right. But 28% body fat. So I'm trying to get like 25% body fat. I'll have to figure out the math on that, how much more weight that'll probably be. But measurements looking pretty good. You know, I think 
Friday, I was one before I went on vacation, or before I took the girls. It was not a vacation. Let me just tell you, it was a fucking nightmare. We had it was like a total shit show weekend I think the girls overall had a good time which makes everything worth it to me but I have to fill you in on all my my tobacco but I think I was 150 153.8 or something on Friday and I I don't know guys I think it's gonna be three days of eating I'll be lucky if it's less than five Five or six. So, a little nervous about it. But otherwise, all the measurements obviously are down. You know, I don't think I went up anywhere. That would be kind of stupid. And I think all my measurements went down. And I got into a size eight and that about a month ago. So, that's kind of cool. Most of my leggings are just one size because that's all I wear but when I did wear jeans the other day when we went out I was in a I drank quite a bit I had like three seltzers on Friday one seltzer on Saturday and then like three hot ciders spiked with apple whiskey not even a whiskey drinker and but it was so good it was apple cider more hot, really, really hot with a, like a little shot, maybe a little heavier, of that Crown Apple Royal. It's very good. And then um, just like a shit ton of food. Pancakes and pizza pockets and rice and teriyaki chicken and oh my god, this caramel. One of the scouts brought apples with like everything for a caramel apple topping, nuts and marshmallows and all this crap. And I put cinnamon and sugar and butter and apple slices and caramel and cooked it on the fire. Oh my God, it was amazing. It was so good. It was the best thing I think I had all weekend. I'm gonna go do my yoga for today. So then at least tomorrow I can upload this. I'm gonna try to upload I already up, uh, just uploaded Fridays. I tried, guys. I just the Wi-Fi was so bad there. So I'm gonna try to upload. Um, Saturday. I only have a few little things. I I forgot to do gratitude. I thought I brought the cards, and I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna try to find cards and do gratitude tonight. Get back on schedule, right? I think. I don't know. Like I'm thinking a seventy-two. Up trying to do a perfect 72 but maybe not maybe once I can get over the hump of the 24 I can reassess you know it's gonna be difficult tomorrow is gonna be a difficult day uh, fasting but I'm sure if I see a giant number I'll that'll give me some drive to you know get some of the fluid off that's what I plan to do so I'm going to do day 13 of yoga. I haven't missed yet, and I don't want to, even though I'm very tired and I need to catch up on my sleep. But I'll do yoga, and then I'll come back on and do gratitude. Try to do gratitude for today, at least. And, um, and then I'm going to bed because I'm exhausted. Okay, guys, I just did yoga starting to get really nervous about how much I'm up not like about fasting because I need a good fast I just am nervous about how up I must be oh, a friend is texting me I am so popular oh you guys um I just talking to David, I'm pretty sure we're going to try to stay, get on a 72 schedule. So just waiting to hear back when he's going to actually start. I kind of have had a headache all day, probably from the whiskey that I drank last night and the no sleep in two days. So I want to take some aspirin or some ad, probably like some Advil or something or Tylenol PM. 
help me sleep actually. But of course I'm thinking, oh, just have a little ice cream. And I actually feel nauseous, probably from all this shit I eat. So I don't know. I may have already started my fast, we'll see. I finished yoga. I told you about my measurements. I didn't have a scale. Just washing my hair. Finally felt get all that camp smoke out of my out of my hair. I did have some pizza when I got home because I didn't really. <laughs> I don't know why you guys don't watch my videos. <laughs> I sit here and yawn and burp and <laughs> it's, it's real exciting. Fuck. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do good this week. I just have to get some sleep and um get back on schedule. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to take Layla for her WALKs and get my life back together. What is our funny? We missed two gratitudes. And no, I took two because I know I saw one of them was Christopher Walken. And I don't know where they are. I've unpacked everything. So that'll be funny. Somebody find these random cards. Today is You Can Read. <laughs> Sometimes, right? You lucky little shit. Think about all the generations of people who came before you who couldn't read. The very act of being able to decipher symbols into meaning is pretty fucking magic. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Funny stuff, guys. What am I grateful for? Uh, physically grateful that I made it through the weekend, honestly. No, I'm going to be 40. Still kicking ass. <laughs> I, I, speaking of, I'm like on the fence of making a really bad review and I hate doing that kind of stuff. But the lady at the campsite was so mean to me, guys. I want to like sick you people on her. She was so awful. She overcharged me. I'm like, you're overcharging the Girl Scouts. We don't even make that much. We make like 87 cents off a box of cookies. So we have to sell a lot. And my poor Scouts, we were supposed to go to New York this spring. May 16th, we were going to see Aladdin on Broadway, staying in Times Square. It was such a huge trip that they worked so hard for. And because of COVID, it got canceled. The hotel and Broadway gave us back our money. It wasn't that. It was just that they worked so hard to go. We were going to take the train. and It was a very expensive trip planned. But And so now I, I felt bad that they hadn't seen each other. So I wanted them to go camping and get together and spend time together. And so I, there's just, just this lame old campsite up the road from us. But... Now, towards Halloween, everything is, um, you know, considered holiday. And this lady argued with me saying it's a holiday and that's why you're getting charged more. Even though the website, the brochure, the brochure they handed me yesterday, everything said this last weekend was not part of the holiday theme. And this old crutchy lady said that, you know... There's going to be trick-or-treating, and there's going to be costume contests, and there's going to be a haunted trail. So I tell all my girls that there's going to be all this stuff, and we get there, and there's not. So I look like a jackass, and I paid $100 more because it's holiday weekend. And they were like, she was so up her ass. I think some people just have no, like, they love the little bit of power they have with her. She was, you know, the reservation lady. Um... <laughs> Anyways, I got into it with this lady and I was so angry. I like I was going to cry and I just wanted to eat, punch her in the face. And I got back to my campsite and I was like, I want to see your manager. So I pulled a Karen. It's funny. My co-leader's name is Karen. 
I said, you send your manager down here. And when I got back into the cab and I looked up in the, well, in my car, I looked up in the rearview mirror and I had my mask on that says, stay positive. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going to happen. The manager was so nice. The general manager was so great. And a couple other staffers were so nice to us. But this lady really, really upset me. And they said, you know, we're going to try to make it right for you, but. I don't know, kind of put a really sour whole experience on there. And the cabin smelled like something had died in it. Oh, and my co-leader, she was like, we were freezing. We're like, make a bigger fire. And she wanted to be in charge of the fire. And then I get driving home and my driver's side window just falls out. <laughs> just drops. I was like, what the fuck? And I get home and, I, you know, you have to wash everything because everything smells like camp. And I had, my daughter wanted to clean out the refrigerator <laughs> because we had all this food we were putting in. So I kind of took all these leftovers. Like I took the walking tacos. Walking tacos, Eileen, are like you take a bag of Doritos and usually they have like specially made ones for this. They're like long. Fritos also does it. And you kind of like crunch up the chips and then you open the bag and you lay your meat and your cheese and your lettuce and all your toppings on there. And you, you can walk around holding the, I was like, what the hell is that? My TV started talking. Then you can walk around with the taco bag, you know, anyways, we had them and they were great, but I had leftover everything and we came home with most leftovers. So I, let me just pause. Okay, so um, I made like, I made enchiladas with the leftover taco stuff. I made the sloppy joes. I prepped raviolis. Hi, baby. Just wait a minute. Say hi to your fans. Say hi. Oh, she's doing downward dog. She loves it. Say hi. Say hi. What's she doing? There's Layla. She says, hi, guys. She missed me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I made a bunch of, prepped a bunch of food for my family this week. It'll be kind of nice. I won't have to worry about any of that while I'm fasting. You want to go outside? So, yeah. And then I did a bunch of laundry, and I needed to wash that smoke out of my hair and do yoga and just everything. Horrible fucking headache. So, I may have a little bit of ice cream and some aspirin or some Tylenol or a piece of candy or something. Just, I'm not even hungry, guys. And why am I doing that? Why am I going to go eat anything else? I'm not hungry at all. I'm actually nauseous. I don't know what's wrong with me. Your girl's a mess. I'm pretty sure I have over 10,000 steps, though. Let's see. did my activity at 9,000. I'll make sure I hit my, my steps. I have a feeling though it's going to be, I said I would be lucky if it's under five. I think I'm going to be more like three days of eating, three meals a day or more. I would say between six and eight pounds is probably what we're going to have to do. So I don't know. I don't know what this week. I don't I haven't even looked to see if I have something on the schedule or what. I don't know. I really don't want to see one sixties and I think I'm gonna tomorrow. And that blows. Kind of was not trying to go over that ever again. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. That's okay. I'll get it back off. My goal for October is to see those 140s be in the 140s. No more 150s. So now I'm going to have some work to do. Let me know if you guys want to join our little weekly fast. We're at least starting with the 72. We'll see what happens after that. I know I could get 7, 8 pounds off in a 72 if I'm perfect. We will see. And we'll check in with you all tomorrow with my 
weigh in. It's gonna suck. Day 13. I bought myself a brand new yoga box. Fold the palms together as you're 